Hi, Ash. Good morning. Good evening. Today, we are going to discuss about how how to successfully complete part B plan. When we're talking about interviews, RP interviews, that is different kinds. When you go companies interview, that is different. Like the ones companies like that. When you're going about client interview, that is different. Client interview for RP is all about how you work. What are the scenarios you covered? What are the issues you were faced at your project environment? How we can resolve issue in production? So this kind of questions will be part of the plan interview. What about the tool? Maybe you are in automation anywhere. Maybe you maybe you can blow some. Maybe you can UA path. Whatever it is, the question will be remain same. Suppose in real time environment. We are developing one task that is involving a website to capture the data. So how you are completed with your development, you are capturing through object cloning or else your attributes, whatever it is. So, attributes or cloning, everything it will be part of the HTML ID or DOMX path or else inner text. So, whatever it is. Usually, we were faced on issue, so we completed the development. in dev environment for the particular website captured through data when we move into UA team we saw all the damage path or attributes Customer IDs got changed for lot of data. So in this case, if all the IDs changed, this is the behavior of the particular application. How you can move through this type of environment through your tool? So what we done? We done. We taken all the data like my damage part or my HTML class or else whatever it is. I was taken into the XML config file. So whenever the environment change happens, suppose dev to PAT or PAT to live. If 
in anything environment change my xml config file will allow me to change the ids in configuration system so i don't need to go and change my process or my admin whatever I have. So I don't need to change my code file. Instead of changing my code, I would change my configuration file and it would move to environment difficulties. The second thing you have to concentrate is what are all the challenges you face in your challenges you have faced in your in your RP experience this is the important question interviewer will always ask in client interview what are the issues challenges you faced in RP development RP deployment or whatever it is usually what are the challenges we faced in our during development or deployment or during environment change? Usually, we have the all the codes and process. Everything will be in available in dev environment. When we are moving to environment, suppose dev to EAT. They will not allow to change the URLs in code. So what we need to do? we have to make it all our URLs into the environment specific config file. Suppose you are working on Suppose you are working on dev environment, now you are moving to the SH environment. So you have to make sure if you have all the URLs in your XML file you can configure through your website URLs through your configuration file and no need to go and change the your code file or process file or HTML file whatever it is okay let's move to what are all the real time challenges we will face in our environment? The main challenges if you move, if you are in RPA, you must aware the screen resolution. What our process will run only particular screen resolution. Suppose in my machine, I am checking 1000. 2.920 this same resolution will be having all the environment otherwise what will not work this is the first prerequisite for RP if it not the bot 
been stuck anywhere or robo or the process will stuck anywhere what are all the ways it will stuck you don't know it will not clone the object it will not get some attributes or it will it will fail in some other delays whatever it is okay let's move to next scenario suppose you are moving to your website login the login contains login which contains username password and submit or login button so in login what are the challenges you face how you can overcome that See, usually when bot moving to login sometimes some delay will happen so if it is happen bot will not login or else it will take instead of your user some some slowness will come it will go to your password it will not type your username so usually what we will do is in in real time two attempts login bot has to attempt login values into your you are into your screen if two attempts fail then only bot has to send email notification to your team or whatever it is and bot will terminate the process and bot will stop the process this is the usual will be happen in real time environment suppose in second attempt it, it went through smoothly then it's okay okay then what are the challenges we will face in our real time environment real time in rpa in rpa the main thing is you have to concentrate about each and every step suppose you are working on logging your user id has been captured by bot so you have to check first your password button or else your submit buttons there or not your control is there or not if control is not there then you will not click or else unless and until your control will come you have to wait for that okay once you are moving to login it's moving to next screen second screen or your user screen so in that case you have to check if my window exist if window exist then only you have to go and capture your values if not you have to stop the process or you have to wait if window not exist then you have to wait dynamic delay up to exist 10 seconds 15 seconds or 15 seconds you have to wait this is the important one in real time environment until and unless you will not get in the next window if you go through that you are, you are not getting the next window but you are going and you are checking some controls it will not available then what will you get okay let's see um, some more details in our uh, next video okay thanks guys thanks for your watching this video thanks for your valuable time we'll meet some more and we will meet and we will see some more details in our